Hey guys, today I'm going to briefly explain what the Gadsden purchase was with a map. After the Mexican-American War, the United States finally stretched from sea to shining sea as we had fulfilled our manifest destiny. Yay! However, the continental United States did not quite look like what you think of today. If you look down beneath what is California, you see a little gray section, which would today be land within New Mexico and Arizona. That territory was still owned by Mexico that was not secured in the war. Therefore, we wanted to buy it. And Santa Ana, who was president, decided to sell it to us via the Gadsden Purchase because I believe he felt if he didn't sell it to us, we might just very well take it. We really wanted this land because we had a vision of a Southern Transcontinental Railroad and we needed that territory to build that rail. We also wanted to secure our Southern border. Just to lay it all out for you to make sure that this is all very clear in your mind, the Gadsden Purchase was named for James Gadsden, who's a U.S. ambassador to Mexico. Treaties are often named after the people who negotiate them. This was signed in 1853, and it promised $10 million to Mexico in exchange for approximately 30,000 square miles of land. This goes into effect in 1854, and it is all negotiated and put in place during the last term of Santa Ana, who is president of Mexico multiple times. He is the leader who never seems to go away. And of course, I'm not teaching a history of Mexico. I am a U.S. history professor. But if you want to look into a fascinating story, dig into the biography of Santa Ana. He is in charge of Mexico multiple times for multiple clashes with Americans, most notably during the Texas Revolution, then he's in charge for a while during the Mexican-American War. He has to go into exile into Jamaica after that travesty. And then the church in Mexico itself invited Santa Ana back after they staged a coup, which is really weird. When he got back in the 1850s, he called himself uh, the Most Serene Highness and proclaimed that he would be dictator for life, which really meant in this time period in Mexico that he was dictator until he was chucked out again, which happened a lot to Santa Ana. So that's really just kind of a side note, but he was in charge also during the Gadsden Purchase. Finally, this is the shape of the nation moving forward.